Hey everyone, it's Austin and welcome back to the channel. It's day 261 on my journey to 2000 where I'll be uploading a video about my journey every day until I get there. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, check out the other links down below, including theenketoclub.com. Use code Kiwi, get 10% off. And into the 10 minute pool we go. After yesterday's win, we have 1803 as our current rating, and we're playing against Total Beginner here one. And they're already playing some silly stuff. It's kind of funny. Just started in uh, July of last year, it looks like. So let's, uh, let's play some normal stuff, I guess. He wants to play a stone wall. So let's, uh, you know, a stone wall he shall play. I think C4 is good to undermine the structure. If I'm not mistaken. The Wone Stall. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't, doesn't really look like I can do much about that. So let's just develop a piece. If he takes... Okay. So now let's defend it. Castle, I can go knight here and then here. Interesting. Interesting indeed. What if I just post my bishop there? Oh, well, how do you like that? Okay. I can play the reverse wound stall. Part of me wants to just start sending pawns at the queen side. But I need to address this first. I do think that this is the move. Okay. Clearly I'm missing something. Let's uh, grip it and rip it. Is he just going to come checkmate me or something? Probably. <clears throat> we stay pushing pawns around these parts. No fear. No fear, baby girl. Who's scared? I ain't scared. It's like, I'm pretty scared. I'm not gonna lie. I kinda wanna drop my knight back. But I also have this move. God, I can't stop touching my face. It's like, so bad. Um, yeah, the thing is that I kind of just want to take his knight, since my bishop is so bad. Let's, let's go here first. Let's go here first. This is a pretty good move. Okay, so now here and he goes here, right? That's his big plan. That's his big plan. But I don't think that I care if his knight is there.
Oh. Oh my. If I go here, then where do you go, sir? I think I go here, sir. Yeah! Don't attack me, boy! Give me that queen, boy! That's what I'm talking about. Now give me your knight, too. Yeah, he's gonna win an exchange. And you know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. Because this move is coming at you hot, my friend. Coming at you hot. And there ain't nowhere safe for you to go. I'm just up a full rock. Well. A rock for a pawn. I think that's a pretty good move. Here, we're just taking 100%. I do have my own past pawn that I can start pushing, to be completely fair. Okay, I'm actually kind of floundering. I'm actually kind of floundering. Why do I care so much about this pawn? I feel like I shouldn't, but I do. If I go here, he just goes here. And then he gets all this counterplay that there's no need for that. But it's like, what do I play? Let's go here and start giving the Chekaruskis. God, I just, like, don't really have much here, is the problem. That's pretty scary. He had had enough. That was a cute little tactic at the end. I'll explain it more in a second. Wow, really? Still bishop d3? That's crazy. Oh, I thought that I was big brain playing c5. Just takes. Knight takes. B takes. 
I mean, that would be great if it went like that, but what if you just didn't do that, right? What if you just... What if I took, and then you just took back? Knight takes. Oh my god. Knight takes d5. Oh, wow, 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 Okay. I was missing that idea. But apparently this is still better for us. And the game really liked my idea. Push and pee on the queen side. Got lucky with a blunder. Yeah. And then what I was going to do after king g8 is take his rook. <laughs> so, yeah. We take those. All right. All right. That's two wins in a row. We're cooking here. 1811. That's a good year. Let's see if we can get back up to uh, 1900 sometime in the next, uh, you know, 16 years. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.